blind old fool is useless. All he did was babble about nonsense. He is becoming resistant to the elixir, Valkinar's knock, Ross. There's nothing to be done. Nothing to be done? Be grateful that I am not my predecessor, Aerox the Mutilator. Nockfroz is weak. I would have killed the Overseer for her failure. <laughs> Me, but the others do. You are more capable than you appear. This is the foundry of Jind, kin marcher under Valkanaz Novcross. Here she supervises Dremora, who study and devise things of interest to the Valkanaz. Look for strange devices or documents about mortal machines in Jin's foundry. I will search for signs of my blade bearers and question any churls I find. There is a ritual site to the north. Meet me there when you finish searching the foundry. That would be an inefficient use of my time and abilities. Do not expect me to guard you, mortal, but if you die, as mortals are prone to do, I shall inform the at my convenience. I have had few dealings with Kinmacha Jind, but I have... Reservations about any Dremora who dabbles in mortal inventions. It is an unseemly habit. Dislike? One must be familiar with something to dislike it. I am unfamiliar with your kind and not especially curious. You are simply unimportant. I mean no insult. I'm sure you are very important to you as far as mortals are concerned comfort is not a concept i give much thought to it is something mortals seek to protect them from fears and cares or so i have heard dremora know little of fear so the relative merits of being comfortable or uncomfortable are meaningless I will only wait for a brief period at the ritual site after I complete my own investigations. Search quickly if you wish to compare notes. That ring Caius doesn't know what to make of you, Master. He seems like the suspicious type. Okay, thinks he can make his own catalyst. Let them kill me. He'll never match his sister Saldina's brilliance. Ah, Nokvrar seeks to undermine the mortal Saldina. Two factions vying for Lord Dagon's favor. Let us hope for the rivers of Dinaris. Jind 
would slice your flesh to ribbons, you are sturdier than you appear. Mortals have too many expressions. Your face tells me nothing. Did you find anything at the Foundry, or did you fail at your task? For what purpose? Prince Dagon commanded Valknaz Novkroz and his subordinates to assist the mortals of his waking flame cult. Or so I heard. If the mortals devised a tool for the prince's use, why would the Valknaz need one of his own? The shrieks of mortal lies and trickery. Mortals do not enslave kin. And yet... I found signs left by my blade bearers. Kin of many clans gathered here before they were taken somewhere else. Yes. Kin are not to be used by mortal. I must find signs of my missing clanmates. Meet me near the jail of Xanawas. The area features many deep ravines. Do not fall into one and die. You are not a blade bearer. You have no means to perceive the secret symbols of my kin. We are of oblivion, made of its substance. It is a simple thing to leave an impression that others of our clan can sense. Ah. We are blade bearers. All the kin of my clan are packed bound one to another. A clan pact unites us in purpose, attunes us to each other. I know my kin and can see what they wish me to see, others cannot. It is a connection that can never be broken. Huh. The clan pact shapes us. It defines our essential nature. Blade Bearer is not an allegiance. It is what I am, what I ever will be. Should this form be destroyed, I will respawn in a new body. But the clan pact remains. We do not die, mortal. We will investigate the Zivilai, Zainoaz. I will meet you there, if you survive the journey. The Zivilai will grind your mortal bones to ash if he sends you here. Zainoaz is one of Valknaz Novkroz's most fearsome underlings. He commands many Dremora. I do not know if he and Jin work together for their master or if they compete for his approval. Blade bearers would not allow themselves to be seen by you, so do not waste your time looking for them. Search for information about the mortal device that drew my scouts to this site. I will look for my kin. Now you exhaust me with all these questions. Are all mortals so uncertain? <sighs> there is a scout's camp north of Zinoaz's jail. I will await you there, but do not dawdle. My Zivali are reckless creatures. They rely on wild emotion and brute strength instead of skill and strategy. Dangerous to the weak or the unwary. You... I'm still here. <laughs> Was I not specific enough in my warning? Zivali are rarely bound to any clan. Sometimes they work together, but it never lasts. They are arrogant and do not like taking orders. Only the most powerful Daedric lords can compel their obedience. Such as Prince Dagon. Mm. The few I have seen are foolish, weak, or mad. There is no alliance with such creatures that would benefit my clan. Some Dremora see value in studying the doings of your kind, but not I. I leave that to Lirinth, the Fool Killer. That is the name of her clan, so to me she is Lirinth, the Fool Killer, just as I am Rinkaius, the Blade Bearer. Do you not have clan names where you come from? The Earth concerns me. I cannot discern what she truly intends in these matters. Lyrantha's curiosity leads her down murky paths. Her unseemly interest in you has lessened her. No, that is unfair. It has made her different. She is someone to be wary of. 
That is as true for mortals as it is for Dremora. Remember that. You infer too much. I do not like or dislike Zivili. They are difficult allies, undisciplined, quick to change course as their whims sway them. One cannot guess their goals because they do not know themselves. Much like mortals, it seems. Stay alert, mortal. You seem to handle yourself well. But the Xenoaz is dangerous. All right. Siellä venytys menossa. Dark Ruins. Vaan ja siitä eteenpäin. Tuohon suuntaan toi tehtävä merkki. Monsters, Daedra, tormentors. They. Daedra on vaikea tällä liittolaisia kyllä. Wanted me to demonstrate how to inscribe the runes. I tried to resist. Tell Sister Seltina. I tried. The cataclysm's runic crux. The focus of its power. These Daedra wanted. To make their own, I didn't tell them everything. Tell Sister Santina. Okay, Viking Flame is like a young lion in the lane. Blind Seer's final gift. Taistelu vallasta. I never met him, but he invented the Cataclysm. We followed his schematics. The day of Lord Dagon's triumph draws near. I hope to see it. Damn Nakfras and his torch hidden. Safe. Nakfras envies us. Hates Sister Seltina. Nakfras fears that mortals will bring about Lord Dagon's triumph. Not Tremora. 
Enää ei pysty tulemaan toimeen keskenään. Tää onneksi tultaa ihan kohtuullisen hyvin. Kartassa ei markkeria, niin ei, ei löydä tota noin. Noin. Noniin. Noniin, Mirri saa sen tapettua. Noin. found information perhaps you have proven yourself a useful what have you learned of course Rakan Aznavkraz refuses to accept that the mortal followers of Merun's Dagon can succeed where he has failed a useful insight what else do you find out blind seer that means nothing to me. Nor can I make sense of the drawing. The runic crux, however. The work seems poorly done. Zynoaz's methods have their limitations. I found something as well. A hidden message from my blade bearers. My kin learned little that we did not already know. They waited here, hoping to trail a waking flame messenger back to Sister Seldina. Since they are not here, it must have worked. Which leaves us no closer to finding this mortal device, or my kin. Defective parts, strange scribblings, 
the inventions of a blind seer. I hope Lyranth learned more in Fargrave. The inventions of a blind seer? Interesting. I believe we know his name. Elegion. That's what I remembered earlier. Lyranth helped me. Elegion? That old lunatic? He was locked in the blood pit last time. Did that Tetrat talk? <laughs> Form holds the mutilator, titan of destruction. Atita, Atita, I'm not sure what he'll be able to tell you, Master. The Blood Pit is a foul prison that I once oversaw. When I was cursed, I awoke there in this reduced form. Cast down with others who offended Merun's Dagon. That's where I met Elijah. He was locked in a prison within the prison. The Durin Spy. <laughs> Master. I am not sure if Elegion knows who Elegion is, or why he is there. You see. The Blood Pit lies northwest of Burning Gyre Keep. I can guide you, but the presence of powerful Daedra not aligned with Prince Dagon will be noticed. The Blood Pit imprisons disloyal Daedra with mystic wards. Lyranth and the Bladebearer would have to shatter those wards to enter. Mortals? The walls and locks are enough to bar your path. Your Dramora allies cannot come with us. I was imprisoned there before I escaped, only to be captured by the Collector. Damn his many eyes! They never were able to overcome my natural immunity to the wards. Something to do with my position before I was cursed, I imagine. <laughs> Probably not. Mortals are delicate about such things. The Blood Pit is a cruel place, Master. Prince Dagon sends his enemies there to suffer. Mortal prisoners do not last long. Unless they are valuable in some way. Let us depart, Master! Let's meet at the Blood Pit. If I know Elegion, maybe he knows me. I'll meet you at the Blood Pit. It's safer if we travel separately and don't call more attention to ourselves than absolutely necessary. Gasmod the Collector's interest in my mask gave Lyranth an idea. Rather than try to remove it, she attempted to suppress its enchantment with her magic. It was as if a curtain in my mind moved in the breeze for a moment. I saw Elegion, a sad old man with eyes that looked on things others don't see. And I remembered his name. I'm afraid that's all Lyranth could help me recall. Hmm. The Daedrak raises a good point. I shall wait at Wretched Spire. Find me there when you and the Anchorite have learned what you can from the Blind Seer. Although that would be both useful and edifying, Aerox is correct. My presence would be immediately evident anywhere within the confines of the Blood Pit. I shall have to rely on your skills. Alas. I'm sure you are capable of asking questions, but neither of you are Dramora, and your interrogation techniques are... Limited. Most mortals are disinclined to robustly extract the needed information. Nevertheless, I will rely on your skills. Over here, friend. No one's come in or out. The blood pit. Okay. If names are omens, then this is a dire one. After what Aerox told us about the place, I admit I wouldn't want to set foot there until we exhausted every other lead we had. 
I'm not sure. Wouldn't a place like this leave scars you couldn't forget? I don't know. And what does it matter? However we met, I just hope Elegion can tell me who I was before this mask was adhered to my face. It would also be nice if he can tell us something useful about the Riven Cataclysm. Kyllä, kyllä. Blood there, an overseer. Let's see what's going on. Oh. The blind old fool is useless. All he did was babble about nonsense. He is becoming resistant to the elixir, Valkinar's knock cross. There's nothing to be done. Nothing to be done? Be grateful that I am not my predecessor, Aerox the Mutilator. Nockfroz is weak. I would have killed the Overseer for her failure. <laughs> Me, but the others do. Tämmönen kirjoituskammio. Arvostan mutilator. Go on missing or possibly eaten by mortal prisoners. Se on kyllä ihan mahdollista. That 
map was obviously Look up there. Prisoner. Nockross returns! Have you completed your interrogation, Volcano's Nockross? Nothing but a waste of time. Just more of the same. Secure the Durance file until I return. I must go. That tiresome mortal Selvina insists on my presence. Improve the elixir before my next interrogation. He's getting that. away! I'll kill him! Well, this time it was so fast. Behind a glowing door. So close, but one more obstacle. Any ideas? No, got to touch this area. Teleport it on to some boys. Energiaa pistää teleporttiin. Tässä voi laadata kive, jos se on löytös. If Aerox is right, Ella Gion is behind that glowing door. That's a lot of security for one old blind seer, though. Ne voi olla yllättävän kovia. I must need to figure out how to open Ella Gion's cell if I really want to talk to him. Yeah, I thought so too. But what if something in my past is terrible? What if that's why I can't or won't remember? All right, let's do this. I think we can use lucent crystals, just like back at the bathhouse in the shambles. No, sun menneisyys on todennäköisesti sataprosenttisesti karmeita. Lucents can be charged with energy and used to activate all sorts of things, like opening that door, maybe. Gather some lucents and look for a dynamis font to charge them. There's got to be one around here. Maybe on the balcony up above? Spend any amount of time scavenging in Fargrave or various realms of oblivion and you'll run into a few of these Daedric devices. Gather a few lucent crystals, and hopefully there are... I remember! There's a rune of unsealing on the balcony above! It unlocks the cell door! And look over there! A charged lucent! Grab... Now place the charged lucent in the discharge labyrinth. Find some lucent. The masked one speaks true. We need charged lucents. Okay, did do. the rune of unsealing before an overseer comes round. Good. The sooner we finish with the old seer, the sooner we can punish Nockfrost. That did it. Now let's see what Elegion can tell us about cataclysts and maybe my hidden past. A noise. Is someone there? No. No more visions. I don't want to drink anymore. Sink. <laughs> the blind seer is mad. 
I warned you, Master. That's him. Can you hear all of them? I hear all of them. For the season on the coals, all good children get sweet rolls. More questions? No more questions. Is it the season of blossoms yet? That was always my favorite. All my ideas gone. They poured them out and now I'm an empty bottle. So empty. Sometimes everything is right again. Usually not. But so many, many questions. I won't answer them unless... Unless... Do you smell flowers? Flowers, cowers, showers. Nopros mentioned an elixir, didn't he? If you can find one, maybe it'll calm him down. Taste of spring rains hand in a bowl. That smells the like rendered oak. Oh, helps calm my I like it, but it, it, it might kill you. Ridiculous nose of mine is not wrong. Try it, Master. Pour it on the braziers. My mind grows still, free of those awful visions. I do not know you, stranger, but I thank you. And the others I hear. The elixir grants me only a few moments of clarity, so speak swiftly. What do you ask of me? That vile creation. Not Frost was just here asking about it. The Riven Cataclyst is my burden, my punishment, my greatest sorrow. Realize the purpose my designs would be turned to. Why do you seek it? Moth, moth priest, todennäköisesti tää tyyppi. Yes, I believe you speak true. Destroying it would be good. You can get to the Cataclyst by going to a Nihilarch's summit. Nukfraz speaks freely in my presence. He thinks me mad, that I hear nothing. Well, I am mad. And blind, but I'm not deaf. The anchorite? No, I've not heard that word. But I sense my work. She wears my mask, doesn't she? I crafted that cursed item. It suppresses memories, <laughs> both the wearers and those who knew the wearer. Everyone. Aika jännä, siis tää on itse asiassa Elder Scrollin quickly, voima. I cannot tell you who I made the mask for or why. The enchantment I devised does not simply abolish the wearer's memories. It erases the wearer from the memory of anyone who knew her. Whoever she was, that person is... forgotten. Of course not. The mask hides who she was, not who she is now. Think twice before you seek to unbind the mask from your friend. That curse was most likely put in place for her own protection. Long ago, no niin, se oli Moth Priesti. Arvasin taas oikein. Tai siis Kaaput oli. And paid for the knowledge I gained with my sight. But while Morakar was still Emperor, I was abducted by the servants of Mayrun's Dagon. They brought me to the Deadlands. Dagon's servants broke me, drove me mad with torment and illusions until I no longer knew what was real and what was nightmare. The Cataclyst design is but one product of my delirium, and by far the worst, I fear. There is no escape for me. Madness is my prison, much more so than this cell. The elixir never lasts very long. Better to leave me here. If you take me away, Dagon's servants will know we talked. They will be warned. You seem like a kindly old owl. I wish I could help you. 
a kindly old owl. I remember a young girl called me that once. I... I have something for you. Something for me? What is it? This amulet. I've been saving it for so long. For you, I think. Now go. My mind. Kind. Blind. Blind. It fills with a storm. A sewer on the east wall. That's our exit, Master. We should hurry and return to Wretched Spire. Niinpä tietysti, mihin Maria pitkin karakuu. He remembered my mask and this amulet. But he didn't remember me. Pome, he wanted to. Pelaajalla. I hoped Elijayan would be able to tell me who I am or how I knew him. That's disappointing. But at least he sort of explained my mask. And he told us where to find the Riven Cataclyst. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this amulet, though. Interesting. You appear to have survived Dagon's worst prison and suffered little to no damage. And your demeanor suggests that you succeeded in your mission. Though the Anchorite seems distressed. Tell me, what happened in the Blood Pit? I know an Ilark summit. A high peak in the Sever, inhospitable to mortals, and Dramora for that matter. Few go there. It would be a perfect place to hide the Riven Cataclyst. But what's wrong with the Anchorite? Did Elegyne recognize her? Did he know? The Cataclyst and the Mask. This Elegyne is clever indeed. I am more determined than ever to examine the Riven Cataclyst in detail. We must also keep the waking flame from misusing it, of course. Patience, mortal. You have done oh. well. Take pride in your accomplishments and accept this minor token of my appreciation. With Rinkaius, Aerox, and the Anchorite at our side, we may yet complete both our missions. Prepare yourself. We move out shortly. Look at us, little mortal. Forced to accept the word of a blind old seer. Imprisoned and driven mad in Mayrune's Dagon's blood pit. If Elegyne is to be believed, we'll find Sister Saldina and the Riven Cataclyst at the summit. I have heard of the location. A barren peak scoured by winds that flay flesh from bone. A good place to build a secret retreat, provided the walls can withstand the constant winds. Sister Saldina has taken great care to hide the Riven Cataclyst. Always. With Rinkaius and his blade bearers beside us, we will fight our way to the Riven Cataclyst. When I have seen what I need to, you can destroy the device. Hmm. Meet us at the base of an Ilark summit, provided you want to be part of this. Grab the Daedrat and prepare yourself. The dangers of an Ilark summit are enough to make even a Dromora pause. I assume we will have to deal with both Nockfrost's forces and the Order of the Waking Flame along the way. That seems unlikely. If Saldina already had such an army, she would deploy it at once. Remember, she is eager to earn Prince Dagon's favor. Still, I do not think we have much time before that changes. The incarnates we encountered were indeed mindless engines of destruction. The Dromora within no longer thinks. All it knows is power and rage. Sister Saldina directs these living weapons for now. But Valkanaz Nakfraz wants this power too. Volunteer. The very thought <laughs> is repugnant. <laughs> Do you not understand how we value what makes us who we are? To surrender to such a process is to be destroyed. The essence survives, but the mind? The purpose? Gone forever. Do you imagine they had a choice? Possibly. But each time we delay the waking flame, we make it less likely that Elegion's mad vision becomes a reality. Although it might have been for the best if you had removed Elegion while you were in the blood pit. Hmm. If Elegion can create something as powerful as the Riven Cataclyst or as subtle as the Anchorite's mask, 
What else might he devise? One never knows how a talent such as that might prove useful. Has the Anchorite's mask affected you as well? If you insist. I summoned you to Fargrave to investigate the waking flames incarnates, living disasters created in cataclysts. We destroyed one at Burning Gyre Keep, but we didn't find a cataclyst. Instead, we found evidence that the Bladebearer clan had been at the Keep. Since I doubted the Bladebearers would ally with Dagon's cultists, we went to Wretched Spire to meet their kin reeve, Rinkaius. He told us some of his kin were missing. No, but we discovered that Elegion, creator of the Cataclyst, was being held by Valkanaz Nokfraz at the Blood Pit. He told you that the Riven Cataclyst could be found at an Isleark summit. He also admitted that he created the Anchorite's mask. Let us go, Esther. No need. We're at an Isleark summit, but we should be careful. I expect that both Sister Seldina and Nokfraz may be there. No need. 